We're given the vector field F and asked to determine if the vector field is conservative. If it is conservative, we want to find a function little f so that the vector field f equals the gradient of little f, meaning f of x comma y would be the potential function. And then if we can find this, we want to use it to evaluate the line integral along the curve C of f dot differential r using the fundamental theorem of line integrals. For a quick review, we know if a vector field is conservative, it will make evaluating line integral much easier. The test for a conservative vector field in a plane is given here, where if P and Q, which are the X and Y components of the vector field F, have continuous partial derivatives on an open disk R, then the vector field is conservative if and only if the partial of Q with respect to X equals the partial of P with respect to Y. So going back to our example, notice how P is equal to five X plus seven Y, and Q is equal to four X plus five Y. So if the vector field is conservative, the partial of Q with respect to X must equal the partial of P with respect to Y. Well, the partial of Q with respect to X is equal to the derivative of four X plus five Y with respect to X, which would be four plus zero, or four, and the partial of P with respect to Y is equal to the derivative of five X plus seven Y with respect to Y, which would be zero plus seven or seven. So notice in this case, the partial of Q with respect to X does not equal the partial of P with respect to Y, which means the given vector field is not conservative. So answer here is no, which means there is no function little f or a potential function such that the vector field f equals the gradient of f. So we leave this blank and therefore we're done. We don't have to evaluate this because we can't find the potential function f of x comma y. But this does not mean we cannot evaluate this line integral. Let's go ahead and show how we would evaluate this using this method here, where the line integral on the curve C of f dot differential r is equal to the integral from a to b of f of x of t comma y of t dot r prime of t dt. So we write f as a function of t using the parameterization of the curve given by r of t, and then differential r is equal to r prime of t dt. So the line integral along the curve C of f dot differential r is equal to the integral of f of x of t comma y of t. So notice how here x of t or x equals t squared, and y of t or y is equal to t to the third. So the s component of f is five x plus seven y, which is a function of t would be five t squared, plus seven t cubed, and the y component is four x plus five y, which is a function of t would be four t squared, plus five t to the third. I'm gonna dot this with r prime of t. The derivative of t squared with respect to t would be two t. The derivative of t cubed with respect to t would be three t squared. So there's r prime of t, and then we have dt. The limits of integration for t are from zero to two. Now let's go ahead and find this dot product. So we have the quantity five t squared plus seven t to the third times two t. That's 10 t to the third plus 14 t to the fourth. And we'd have plus the quantity four t squared plus five t to the third times three t squared, that's going to be 12 t to the fourth plus 15 t to the fifth. Combining like terms, we have the integral from zero to two of 10 t to the third plus 26 t to the fourth plus 15 t to the fifth. And in great respect to t, we're going to have 10 times t to the fourth divided by four, plus 26 times t to the fifth divided by five, plus 15 times t to the sixth divided by six. Simplifying, five halves t to the fourth, plus 26 fifths times t to the fifth, plus 15 sixths also simplifies to five halves. 
So we have five halves, two to the six. So when t is two, we have five halves times two to the fourth plus 26 fifths times two to the fifth plus five halves times two to the sixth. And then when t is zero, notice all the terms contain a factor of zero. So we'd have zero plus zero plus zero. Simplifying, this comes out to 1,832 divided by five. Or in decimal form, this would be 366.4. Again, we did not evaluate this line integral using the fundamental theorem of line integrals because the given vector field was not conservative. But just remember, even though it's not conservative, we can still evaluate the line integral using this method here. I hope you found this helpful.